Look at guys, so got my nephew's BMW tire here. He's complaining he's got a flat, he's got a puncture, and we've taken it off, and you can see he's got a big fat bolt stuck in between the threads. So um, he wants to repair this today, so we're gonna try and repair it today. As you can see, it's a, it's a Torx head, so I've got my Torx bit here, and we're gonna try and remove this right now and then we'll try to repair it all right so go ahead and try and remove this bolt hopefully okay it's very loose so it's just there's other little nails off we've spotted we might need to do those as well but i suspect this let's see how long it is yeah most likely this would have been its course it's gone right through so this is my repair kit keep it in my little box okay so what you've got in here is these uh strips these are the ones that go into the thread to block this hole up and you've got this little bit here which we want to smoothen out inside there it's not very easy to be honest with you it is quite tough and this is that little bit that we're going to use to put the new thread back in there to block this hole but this is this bit can be very tough at times what we want to do is use this insert it into the hole and pull it in and out to make it smooth all right this could be tough very tough okay on this occasion it's not too bad i just want to smoothen it out that's it all right so the next step we've got this nice and smooth um we we'll use this rubber solution just to pour some in there put around the edges and we're going to take one of these strips off and use this tool to insert it in there and yank the tool out and hopefully this strip should remain in there and that's what's going to block this hole these these little sticks are very uh, sticky and they should be if they're not very sticky then they might have dried out and you're going to need to use get new ones so this should be very sticky Okay, so we've got this. What we're going to do is insert this in through to this tool, through this bit there. Okay, and we want to put it right in the middle, like this, yeah? And we're going to just keep that there for now. And we're going to pour some of this solution down there. This solution can dry quite quickly, so. some of that in there all right so now this bit here needs to be quite quick we want to insert it in there and once we've got a little bit halfway in we want to yank it out and hopefully this will stay in there bismillah okay so there that's about enough and I'm gonna yank it out now and there you go so hopefully I'm going to use some of this rubber solution on the outside as well a little bit like that so it makes it nice and airtight I'm gonna let that dry for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna check if it's still leaking or not so I don't have a Stanley blade with me right now so I'm gonna try to use this little blade here just to cut off the excess and there you go okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to pump this tyre up with my little pumping device connected to the car so, uh, guys, so uh, I've got it up to about 45 uh, psi max load on this is about 51 psi so I think we're good to go for now and what we're going to do is go ahead and um, check to see if we still got the leak so here's the repair we got I'm gonna use a little bit of water just pour it over there as you can see on what we're looking out for is any air bubbles coming around the repair area so far I can't see any okay can't see any air bubbles so I'm I'm, I'm happy with that okay so there was another one he saw earlier on let's put it out it's this one all right so we're gonna try to see there's anything coming out of this as well because the tires are um, fully inflated so if there is any air leaking we will be able to see it 
and even with this one I don't see any air bubbles popping out of here um, so I'm pretty sure it was the other one the big nail and I think this tire is repaired we're gonna have a keep keep a close eye on the um, tire and, and and that's it so let me know if this helped you out peace